America works because of our ports. They serve as critical hubs connecting all of our nation's modes of transportation that deliver the goods we use at work, home, and school. Ports are very busy places. Indeed, the busiest ones in the U.S. are larger than some cities and have thousands of people working 24 hours a day. While large ports along our country's coast load and unload massive ships from other countries, smaller terminals move materials between U.S. cities and on barges through our nation's inland waterway system. But who makes the ports work and what type of logistics are involved in keeping operations humming? The process starts when a company orders materials to be delivered from overseas by ship. A logistics company worker, such as a freight forwarder or customs broker, arranges for a container to be filled with items like tennis shoes, computers, or bicycles. The container is then taken to a port and on schedule loaded onto a ship headed to the United States. On arrival day, a highly experienced sailor called a harbor pilot meets the incoming ship at sea to bring it safely into port. A tugboat comes alongside as it nears the port and guides the pilot to a pier for docking. Landside workers at the terminal, called longshoremen, secure the ship so workers can unload it. Skilled crane operators perched in cabs well above the ground lift containers off the ships and transfer them to straddle carriers that move the big boxes to waiting trucks. The largest vessels can hold more than 18,000 containers. That's why ports literally operate around the clock. Truck drivers offload the containers in a large lot at the port called a yard, but the story's not over there. Now those containers and other so-called break bulk items offloaded by longshoremen must reach their final destination. That means the yard workers move materials to on-site railroad terminals, other vessels such as inland barges, or waiting trucks that take goods to warehouses and distribution centers, to local airports, or directly to the customer like your local Walmart. No matter the size or location, all ports require employees, and ports nationwide need them now more than ever. All require skilled trade labor, such as welders, electricians, mechanics, and crane operators, customs officers, and port police, transportation professionals, including harbor pilots, vessel operators, truck drivers, dispatchers, and train engineers, port managers, operations supervisors, and IT, human resources, marketing, and administrative personnel. In addition to hiring their own employees, ports work with local organizations, including freight forwarding companies, longshoremen and warehouse unions, pilot associations, shipping lines, tugboat companies, third-party logistics providers, and much more. They may work on-site at the port or at their own company's location as part of the port's transportation network. As aging workers retire, technology continues to advance and our economy grows. So will the number of job openings at ports and their partner companies and organizations. Some require only a high school diploma, while others must have advanced degrees and credentials. If you're interested in learning more about opportunities in America's ports, visit the Southeast Maritime and Transportation Center website at maritimetechnology.org. For a long-lasting, well-paying career around the water, it's a smart choice.